Okay, today we'll be installing these Alpharex headlights right here on this second gen Tacoma. If you'd like to see a video that we made where we compared these headlights to these Amazon headlights, we'll link that video in the description. All right, so let's get right into the install. Okay, so first step, you're gonna open up your hood and then we're gonna start disassembling the front end right here so that we can get the lights replaced. There's two bolts located on top of your headlights that are already in there. And then you'll need to remove a clip as well as a few bolts to get the grill itself off. So all you're gonna really need is a socket and a clip remover tool. If you don't have a clip remover tool, a flathead screwdriver works well. Okay, so you're gonna start by removing these bolts on the grill. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to do that. Okay, so on the grill, there's two clips on either side. You're just gonna start by popping out this little middle piece and then you slide your remover tool underneath and it should pop the whole clip out. Okay, so once you've removed those bolts and clips, you'll go ahead and take these two plastic pieces right here and just lift them off where they're at. There's two main clips up top right here that you wanna slide out, and then about six at the bottom. You just kinda wanna be careful when taking these out, and just kinda work them until they get the right angle, and the grill should just slide right off. Okay, so next we'll take these little trim pieces that are underneath the headlight themselves off. Right here on the inside, this one has a little silver clip. Most of yours will have like a green little clip that you pull out and you're just gonna need to remove that, that, and then these should just come straight off. Okay, so next to remove the headlight itself, there's two bolts on the top and then one that's gonna be kind of hard to get to. That's the one we'll remove first, located directly behind this panel. So what you'll need to do is go in through the wheel well. Usually you'll need to remove a few bolts just to peel back that little lining in there. It's a plastic lining. This one is, has that already cut out, so we'll be able to just reach up in there and get it out. Okay, so to start this, it'll help turn your wheel in like this one is. And then you'll come in here, and underneath this wheel well, there'll be a plastic liner. Um, this one's cut right here, but normally you remove two bolts, and you can just kind of peel this back so you can have access in here. So once you get your hand up in here, the bolt you're looking for is located right here. You'll be able to look down and see. You'll see one bolt that's below it and it's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt that's just up above and it's connected to the plastic piece that's on this headlight. So you just kinda of get your hand in there and then you just use your wrench to work it till it comes out. Okay, so now that that side one is out, we'll get these top two that are really easy. Just use your 10 millimeter again. Go ahead and take these off. Okay, so once you've removed all the bolts, the headlight should just be good to go ahead and come out of its housing. Careful not to pull it too hard because it's still connected to wires in the back. You just kind of want to play with it till it can come out. Okay, so once you have them out like that, you're going to want to take the time. Just go ahead and unplug all of these. Okay, you're going to want to push down on that clip and it should just come out. So once you get your headlight off, we can go ahead and start the wiring. When you pull this wiring harness out, you'll take this little add a fuse right here. This gray wire goes through your firewall and we'll show you guys how to connect that in just a moment. Um, you'll take this little box and you're gonna wanna mount it somewhere along the side right here, preferably closer to the firewall just because this uh, gray add a fuse is pretty short. These two obviously are gonna go your battery, the positive and negative, and then this short red one will go to the driver's side, as well as this short yellow, and then this long black one will go to the passenger side. It's black coated, but a red wire as well, and you'll just kind of feed that through to get to the passenger side. Okay, so once you get your out fuse through the firewall, you're gonna wanna tuck it up underneath this plastic piece and up down through here into this little fuse box area right here. Okay, so this is a little map of your fuses that you have in the box. We're gonna be taking out this one that will be located on the top left. It's a 15 amp. Okay, so once you get that fuse plugged in through your firewall and get that all situated, we're gonna connect it, the rest of the wiring harness to your battery. So in order to do that, you're gonna start by disconnecting your battery. Okay, so we don't need to completely take everything off. You're just gonna to wanna to kinda of loosen this. Once that's in there, you can tighten it right back down. Okay, now we'll do the same thing on the negative. 
Just loosen it enough. Okay, so once it's on there, you're just gonna tighten it back up. Okay, so now that you've got your wiring done, we can get to plugging back in this headlight. So you just start putting these plugs where they go. This yellow one goes to the one from your wiring harness. Just that. And we'll connect right here to this. All of these should be really easy connections. Okay, and so then this little red one will go to this brown one. And then you'll use the rubber that comes with it to cover them up. Okay, and then this is the last one. So once you get your headlight in there, you'll replace all your screws. This one on the side's a little bit tricky just to get it lined up right, but you'll figure it out, get it all lined up. You put all these back, and then you just repeat the process that we just did on the other side of the truck. After that, you'll replace these little trim pieces. It should just slide straight in underneath your light and clip down here at the end on this side and then on this side. So after you got your headlights back in and those lower trim pieces, you'll just slide your grill back in by lining up these six tabs down here on the bottom and then clipping it up on top of here. Once you get that back in place, you'll slide your clips back in and push down that little button thing to secure it in place. Okay, just like that, we have our Alpha Rex lights installed. Huge upgrade from the last ones that we had on here. Hey guys, thanks for watching today. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and let us know what kind of installs you'd like us to do.